definition of charcuterie, fairly vague in my opinion, but it's just uh, the cooking, the manipulation, and the handling of, uh, of meat. I first got interested in charcuterie when I was living in Napa, and it was something, uh, I really liked the history of it. Uh, it runs pretty deep, taking a whole animal and using every part of it. it seemed like the right thing to do. My name's Andrew Weishart, we're at Contigo Restaurant. So pate and terrine are two things that are hard to differentiate from each other. In my opinion, they're two interchangeable terms. So country style pate uh, is a pretty common one. It's ground, ground meat, ground fat, with heavy garnish in it, all mixed together. And we put that into a mold and bake it off in a water bath and then let it cool in the mold for a couple days. Emulsification, the binding together of fat and water, the water being the meat. So an example would be a bottle of vinaigrette and it's separated and set in your refrigerator and you shake it up. All of those water, all the fat cells are being encapsulated by water. Same idea. So mortadella is an emulsification of meat and fat. We do things a little different with our charcuterie here. We do them as composed dishes as opposed to a big charcuterie board. Uh, we've got a lot of garden clippings that we like to take. A lot of different things in the garden that we like to take and use on the charcuterie plates. So the coba, for instance, it's rich, salty, dry meat. So we like to balance that with a, a bright orange oil um, and some sorrel, some nice tart sorrel from the, from the garden. Pork liver pate. Pork liver is usually not a, a high selling item. Uh, but so this is a pork liver emulsified with pork fat with spices. It's cooked in a water bath. We try and let it sit for two days before we cut into it. And we serve it with eggplant fritters, so fried eggplant with Contigo Ranch honey, some toasted bread. That's it, very simple, but it's a big seller. I like dry cured meat because I like making it. I like the process of it. It takes a lot of time. Uh, and then after two months or six months or 12 months, or in some cases, 18 months, uh, you've got this piece of meat that's been hanging. The suspense before you cut into it is is what it's all about for me.